Taurus, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home, Williams and Dawson, welcome to Gen TV. Right, Taurus. This is your next relationship. Oops, love reading. I'll turn the cards in a funny way. This is your next relationship. Love reading. Bear in mind, well, obviously, these are general readings, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But if it does, take a look in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. There's also a link to my website if you want to book a private reading. You can only book a private reading with me via my website. It's not going to happen any other way. You have to click that link below. Right. Don't forget to like and subscribe and all that YouTuber stuff I have to say. And click that notification bell. Blah, blah, blah. It has to be done. Right, Taurus. Your next relationship. Taurus's next relationship. There we go. Overall vibe here as a wheel of fortune. Oh yeah. Crushed by the king of swords. This is the cause of it. The cause of the vibe. So everything seems to have taken a turn for the better. Looks like you're going through a pretty sucky time there, Taurus. And it's all kind of turning because of this person. Air sign, perhaps. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Everything's taking a turn for the better because of this person. Why? I'm using my screen to light me somewhat so it keeps going dim. <laughs> to keep myself lit. It's so lit in here. Okay. Why? Why is this person turned it around for you. You were in a, a relationship that was uh, pretty unhealthy. Really unhealthy actually. Um, toxic. Uh, I'm just I'm just seeing how this person reacted to the relationship. They didn't like you having friends. They didn't like you going places without them. Um, there's there's something about your work. Something about your work that they. Uh, I'm just using some CBD balm. The first day of my cycle and I am a explosion of hormones and uh, anxiety stress and uh, yeah so a little CBD is uh, it's good for well me anyway I don't know if it's uh, your kind of thing person who was holding you back from um this person need to know all of your passwords for everything and uh you just didn't have any privacy any any of your own life if you did you know go to work they wanted to know what you were doing at every moment of this of every day who are you talking to who are you with This person was very reliant 
or dependent on you financially as well. This isn't the person who's turned it all around for you. This is something else. This is like uh, maybe Cancer Scorpio Pisces. You've come out of this situation. You've been in a very unhappy, uh, I guess, codependent, unhealthy, toxic relationship. And then, and then them, then they arrive. Their name's quite short, this person. Like maybe three or four letters, really short. Like, uh, I don't know, Ed, <laughs> with two Ds, Ian, Tin. Uh, three letters for girls. Uh, I'm just getting a short, a short name, something that's like one syllable. don't know why that's there. Her so it's, um, mm, I'm getting a little uncomfortable. It's, it's somebody had uh, an operation. It's, this is usually like new beginnings, but when I'm seeing this, I sort of see this new start all happening because it's like, uh, oh, I got a bit of a scare there. Jesus. Like, life's short. Jesus, I better, better do something about it. Turn this all around. Let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, it's just a new start. This person is dependent on you financially. But then, where, how is this, how is this, uh... How's this air sign come into this then? Want to turn this around and believe in love, but I don't feel good enough. That's coming from you. I wrote that song. Um, it's called Good Enough by me. It's a very slow moving energy with you and the uh, air sign. So perhaps this person's been around for a long time. Tell me more. Communication. All right. It's, it's been moving very slowly. It's about to change. Things are about to change with you and this person. All right, what do we need to know right now? Another deck wants to come out. There's a lot of confusion and heartbreak right now. Right now it's confusion and heartbreak. This is not what I wanted. You've been through a lot, Taurus. You've been through a freaking lot. You've been quite very unhappy in a relationship. So unhappy. There's, there's just a lot of conflict around you right now. And you are looking towards the gentle, quiet, uh, peaceful person. You, uh... Clarify that feeling for me. There's a like a, a feeling of 
um, peace when you're around this person, kind of mixed with utter turmoil. It's like when you're with them, you're like, you feel like you can be yourself. You feel like you can breathe again. You feel like you can... Uh, let yourself just, uh, I don't know, have a conversation and talk and, and, and not feel like you have to put on any airs and graces. Just, you know, you could just be. It feels right. And then at the same time, there's this insane conflict inside of you because you can't really leave behind what you've already got but it's a very unhappy relationship, what you already have. You're on, you're having to support this person. They're, they uh, are controlling every aspect of your life, it would seem, or trying to. And that's making you unhappy. This person's being very controlling. It's making you very unhappy. It's, You want to get your power back. I feel like you had it in your life and lost it and then got it back and then you lost it again. And you want to go back to that feeling when you got it back that first time. Money is a problem though. This is the problem. This person uh, is controlling every aspect of your life and they probably have power over your money or something like that. Maybe even like legally power of attorney or something. And uh, were you to leave, you'd have nothing. And you've already been to that point in your life before you've had nothing. You've gone from everything to nothing. You got everything back again. And if you leave this again, you've got nothing. <laughs> and you're like, I've done that. I'd rather not actually. Can't I just be happy and not lose everything again? Can we just go through that? I hear you. So you're in contemplation. How do we how do we deal with this? This is what's coming up in the near future. You're in contemplation. What do I do? How do I deal with this? Should we get some advice for you? You'll be happy with that one that you're letting go, with that one that got away. This is this card. I see this is a, a lost opportunity. That one that got away. You'd be happy. But you're choosing to not be. Can we have some advice? Learn from your mistakes. That's what you're trying to do but also learn from your experiences, the good stuff. You're afraid to. All right, that's a little bit intense universe. So saying my, I, I, I'll tell you what I heard in my head is that that popped up, death comes to us all. And then that kind of went further. My mom always says to me that there aren't pockets and shrouds. So, you know, you earn all your money in this life. What are you going to do? Take it with you when you go? No, enjoy it while you've got it, right? So there's that aspect to it. You don't want to lose everything that you've got. You've been there. 
And maybe you're sort of thinking I'm too long in the tooth for that jazz now. I hear that. So you hear and you're thinking, what do I do? You're contemplating. Well, that's what the hermit does. The hermit takes his lantern and goes out into the mountains and thinks about his journey to where he is now, contemplates it. And this little star is guiding his way. So death, this, this means changes are coming. This means that what you've been going through, all of this mayhem, all these, ah, oh, God, they're dead, ah, oh, no, God. Yeah, look, the sun's rising, that day's done. And changes are coming. Why resist? Why resist the changes? And fight against the pull. Just, just like, just let go and float. Just, just, you know, float. Just don't swim, no swim at all. No swim in any direction, just float. Tread water, lay on your back and float. <laughs> I like to do that in the water. I just like to lay back and look up at the sky and just every now and then do that, see where it takes me. Watch a bird fly over, watch the clouds. Depending on, you know, what you're swimming in. Lake, Lido. Perhaps best not to do that in the sea. <laughs> there is an ending coming. It's going to disrupt your life. Your, your home life, your work life, it's going to disrupt it. But then, you know, you've got the Wheel of Fortune here. It's all kind of getting better. So as much as it's going to disrupt your life, you're actually going to be happy because of this air sign that's coming in or has come in. You're just torn. You don't know what to do. Why, why decide what to do? Why don't you just let life kind of decide for you? Uh, best you can hope for strength. Well, do I need to explain that? That's a great card. But it's also like, I kind of see, you know, that's the universe, the lady in the white dress, and that's you. And the universe is trying to tame you there. It's like, it just wants to open its mouth and go, look, there you go. <laughs> I can do that. I'm taming you. Let, let the universe tame you. Let the universe have you. Have its wicked way with you. Don't fight it. But you're all here like... It's again saying, why fight it? Why, why leave love hanging in the air? You know you want it. You know that it has this... It has a future. You know that it's it's moving forwards with or without you. So why fight it? This is the other person. Page of Cups. Page of Cups is a kind of it's a nice, a nice surprise. It's it's a beginning. It's a message. It's synchronicities as, as well. Like it's. That's kind of what I'm saying. The universe is, is doing its thing whether you like it or not. So that's sort of synchronicities coming in. Like, uh, well, I think about somebody and then they call. Or you're driving and you're listening to the radio and then the song that you were thinking comes on. Or you think a word and 
you see it as you drive by, as you're thinking it. I don't know. Synchronicities. Angel numbers. Can I see any angel numbers right now? Anything, anything close. I'm not going to look at my angel numbers chart. No, nothing. Oh, yeah. No, I got an angel number. It's 1221 exactly right now. Should we, should we look that up as we're here? Let's look up the angel number. Twenty-one. Oh, sorry. Twelve twenty-one. Yes. Let's have a look at that while I'm here. Stay positive and maintain faith and trust your angels and the universal energies as your feelings and beliefs. Oh crap! I'm not wearing my glasses. And thoughts will manifest into your reality. Keep focus on your desires, positive expectations and outcomes. And that is what you will receive in turn. Release and let go of all negativity and give any fears or doubts to your angels for transmutation and healing. All right, then. Okay. So let's take a look at them. Why is the page of cups here for them? You've left this person out in the cold. And I think that they've learned a lot about themselves in, in this and they've gained a lot of independence in the time that you've known them. And I sort of feel like they've been a little bit in and out. Hey, Taurus, how you doing? Several months go by. Still in love with you, by the way. Just thinking about you. Going again, bye. Here I am again. It's my birthday. You didn't say happy birthday. You're a bastard. Hate you. Love you though. Bye. <laughs> They're a bit, a little bit in and out. Always a surprise when it happens. All right. Well, let's read the outcome. So I'm going to read this and then I am going to take it into the extended where I'm going to ask about this person in your life and uh, the universe's guidance on this. Well, let's ask how they feel, what they want to say to you, what their intentions towards you, and yeah, some guidance from the universe. But let's read the Knight of Wands here. Why is the Knight of Wands here for the outcome? Turns a wider shade of pale. Why is that just coming to my head? Whoa, goosebumps. Oh, that's that means something. Tell me in the comments below, why does that mean something? It shook me up. Whew. The sun. There's delays. There's some delays. What do you mean by delays? It's all, it's all divine timing. You're not ready. You gotta get you gotta get over this hurdle first. This person means a lot to you. I think if you yeah. I think if you jump into this too quickly before you're uh, emotionally ready, so you're gonna leave a relationship and just jump straight into this, I think you'll get uh you will get codependent and, and it will feel unhealthy for you. Um this person seems pretty stable and on it. Um, but for you, I think I, I can see you sort of, uh, fading into this person, melting into this person, needing them, needing their, uh, attention, needing their help, needing their, I don't know. I can't, I can't pull the word out. It's like you always need them to validate you if you're not careful. 
because their their energy is very strong and positive and this last relationship has stripped it from you so you have to come out find your strength then let this person in or uh, go towards this person however that resonates with you when you do you're gonna have a beautiful loyal happy relationship with someone who understands you and uh, the money I keep hearing stuff like this person's good for it but I need yours <laughs> Hey Taurus, it wouldn't be nice for someone else to look after you for a change. I often feel like that. I've always been the one in the relationship doing the uh being the uh one who looks after the other financially, so cool, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Or someone else look after you for a change. I'd take that. Maybe a little bit. Let's pull you some Where are my oracle cards? My cat, oh, there we are. They're not where I usually left them. Let's pull you an oracle card. Work through your fears. Oh, shio. Don't let pride get in your way of you being freaking happy. <sighs> Honour and pride, I think, are definitely getting in your way. You feel like you made a lot of promises and just just go with the flow, Taurus. Have you ever wanted someone you just couldn't have? Def Leppard, have you ever needed someone so bad? Yeah. Did you ever try so hard that your world just fell apart? Have you ever needed someone so bad? Thank you. Thank you. I do love a good power ballad. All right. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you want to watch the extended. Take a look in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon. You'll find the link there. See you guys later.